Hello everybody, welcome back to Build Fly Go's RV10 build series. We took a break there as we sort of ran out of things to do as we waited for the fuselage, but that's finally caught up with us and the fuse is here. Quick little teaser here, the this was the video uh, recording session that we did of the how-to series with Dale and Sam that you guys have seen on our YouTube channel. Uh, I found this in the recording um, while I was editing this video. And here is the, the recording of the um, rivet squeezer session <laughs> that I did, a couple of people had asked for. But here we go, um, just cleaning up a little bit before the fuse arrives and uh, slowly starting to unload uh, all of the fuse parts into the workshop. You guys have seen the unloading video um, and unboxing for when it arrived on the truck and this was the other end of that uh, in the workshop as we get everything out and uh, get everything inventoried it was about uh, I call it two days of, of uh, inventory and really sorting through everything um, nothing was really nothing huge was missing I had two small parts that I had uh, two left sides instead of a left and a right and that showed up in the mail no problem Vans just shipped it to us. And I want to say the other thing was uh, the nose rib for the aileron. I got the wrong version. Um, I needed the older version of the aileron nose rib to replace one that I had damaged. And uh, unfortunately, they sent me the new one. So they threw the, the old one in the mail. But here we go. We're making solid progress on the, the wings. You see that skin on the... Yep, the skin that I'm mounting right now is the one that I didn't have... Um, that we had Vans shipped to us in with the fuse kit. Um, Vans was uh, very particular about that skin not being able to be rolled up, so I had to get it shipped to us when we had a big shipment coming. Um, and we all had a pretty good laugh when the huge crate showed up and that skin was rolled up inside the crate. <laughs> so, okay, I guess maybe it is okay for it to be rolled up. Either way, we're happy we got it and we got to move on with our build. So um, we got it all drilled up and ready. You see that we moved the, we're moving the, the, I guess the skeleton of the wing back and forth between the frame and the um, table. Um, that's to make sure it's not flexed when we, when we like drill any, any of the big skins to it and get everything mounted. You see also that on the middle of the, uh, skeleton there we're propping it up a little bit with some blocks and brick and that's to minimize the flex you can see there's a fairly a very obvious flex right now because the the bricks aren't settled right now oh, i'm sorry the <laughs> the blocks aren't settled right now um, but the idea is you don't want to be riveting stuff with that flex in there um, because you'll possibly set the flex in with the rivets and and the wing won't fit <laughs> um but yeah, so lots of progress. You can see that I'm uh, getting ready, getting a bunch of parts ready because I've got, I want to do one big prime session. There's going to be a sort of a warmer day coming up and I want as many parts as possible ready for me to prime because winter is coming. This is Wisconsin. Um, right now I'm recording this video on the 15th. I'm recording the voiceover on the 15th. And it is cold out. Uh, it it looks it looks ready to snow. <laughs> it's it's really nasty out. So this was uh, the third, which is about two weeks ago, and it was still nice and warm out. It was sixty degrees out. We had a warm spell, so that was my chance to okay, let's get as many things primed as as possible. Um, so we had the the big wing skin that you just saw get primed there, and a bunch of ribs. Um, and it looks like the nose skin and the spar for the aileron that I'm missing. Yep, they're all uh, drying over there. And we had another, we, we got lucky, we got a second good day. So we're, we're just like digging through, okay, like what other parts do we need to prime that we can legitimately get primed right now that aren't going to, to, to have work done to them that will undo that priming. And those are the flap ribs um, for the right flap, which is also one that I needed to do. And uh, Van shipped us the right flap spar which is incredibly long <laughs> it's like an eight foot long piece so i asked them to ship it to us uh, with the fuselage kit so those are the ribs and we primed all the ribs and got that ready unfortunately the the flap spar was not in a position that i could at this point prime it um, but you'll see us working on that spar coming up uh, soon 
Um, I'm again, I have a bunch of parts that need to be primed. Uh, I spent the last few days getting a bunch of parts ready. And so a lot of stuff needs to be primed. And uh, I need to figure out how to do that. I think we're gonna have a warm day again this coming week. Um, I'm hoping that it I, I get a chance before then, but we'll see. So here we go. So we are back riveting. So you see that we're, we've plopped this, uh, the, the, the spar up on the workbench. Um, and we've sort of leveled it a little bit so there's not a twist in it. And we put the skins on and now we're starting to back rivet. You see that usually Mary would be with a rivet gun on the front side of the skin. And in this case, she was actually on the back side of the skin um, with the back rivet set. And I'm gonna have a video on back riveting coming out shortly for you guys to take a look at, just a really quick. Um, so we got part of that back riveted and we decided, okay, let's get some of these other parts out of here, right? Like we've got parts that are outstanding that are sitting around. And one of those is the fuel tank. Um, the fuel tank, both fuel tanks, we had done the initial pressure test and we had done um, a lot of the, the final closeout work on it, but we didn't do the final pressure test. So that's what that balloon is. So we inf we put a balloon on one of the, the, the outputs or inputs or one of the holes on the fuel tank. And then we put sort of a Schrader valve, which is that bike pump valve on another one and you inflate it until the balloon inflates and then you spray everything down with uh, soapy water to see if um, you got any bubbles and we were really lucky and we got no bubbles. And I figured, okay, let's leave that balloon on there for a while and see if it deflates. Um, the balloon is still there. It's been uh, over a week at this point and, or maybe about a week and the balloon is still there and I have a marking for one inch on the balloon so you can see if it deflates and it's all good. So that is the um, left, uh, right flap, actually, which I was missing the, the spar for. And now that we have the spar that came in that shipment, I'm getting it all drilled up and ready to go. And uh, let's see if you're going to see me almost drop this. <laughs> There's a point here very soon where I almost dropped the flap and I had a, you know, almost had a heart attack when I when I dropped, when I caught it before it, before it hit the floor. Um, but uh, so that flap is getting all drilled up, um, all match drilled and ready, getting ready for prime and uh, it'll get disassembled and we're going to put all those parts aside. Um, everything's getting dimpled. Uh, we're going to put all those parts aside uh, so that next chance we can, we're going to prime them. We're going to have a huge batch of parts to prime soon, <laughs> which is unfortunately a bit of a nightmare because I've run out of space to, to put things as, as I get sprayed. But anyway, so, um, yep, a little bit of riveting. It looks like uh, some of the, the, the inner um, flat parts had already been primed, which you can see there. So I'm riveting those and, and doing any final work there. More work on the wing. Unfortunately, we we missed. Yeah, you can see Mary's back riveting there. Um, some of it gets front riveted. Uh, the overlap of the skin on the very top and the very bottom, where it, where it's actually on the spar flange, we regular rivet it because you want the hits to be on the on the front so that they they are settled down and are nice and smooth. We're gonna, don't worry, we're gonna flip this wing around so that you can see it momentarily. <laughs> um, I think it's actually in this segment uh, on the 12th. So that you're gonna be able to see a lot more of what's going on here. There we go. So you see that huge bucking bar right there, right? Like it's, it looks like a, like a, like a weight, right? Like a weightlifting weight. It's, it's massive, it's heavy, it's like five, it's five pounds. And you don't really think about, you know, like five pounds isn't a big deal, except I'm holding up five pounds against the skin for, or Mary in this case, for hours, right? As we're doing this. So it does, it does get a bit tiring. But here we are. Um, that skin is effect. It's done. Um, that those those two top skins. You'll see some calicos on the far left side, and those are the the only line of uh, rivets left to be done there, and they will be squeezed uh, momentarily. So good, good progress. Um, so coming up, a really exciting thing. Um, we're doing a collaboration with a couple of other builders. And we're doing a round table and we're going to be taking your questions ahead of time um, and answering the questions. It's going to be myself, um, Christine, who's plain lady, um, <laughs> Steve from Flight Chops, 
uh, Jason Ellis from uh, his RV10 build channel and uh, Ryan from the Super Arrow channel is going to be moderating and interviewing us and asking questions. So send us your questions. Uh, I'll add the teaser right here and uh, watch and let us know. Please join us when this goes live. What's up, Av Geeks? My name is Ryan from Super Arrow Live, and I'm really excited to be hosting a roundtable with these four super awesome aircraft builders. Hey, everybody, this is Gil from the Build Fly Go channel. You may have seen Mary and I fly our RV 9A uh, across the US and to some fun, warm international destinations. We have videos about our flights, of course and also our RV-10 build, uh, which is the other aircraft we're building right now. It's uh, currently at the fuselage phase, and we have time lapses with commentary of the entire build process. We also have videos on how-tos on basic airplane building technique, some avionics use and commentary and reviews, and really any excuse to go fly. You'll see everything from a big international trip to a trip around the local patch in the pattern to get fuel or whatnot. We look forward to hearing your questions and uh, talking to you on the Builder Roundtable. Hey everyone, I'm Christine from Plane Lady and on my YouTube and Instagram, I document as we slow build our entire RV-10. We're a little over a year into our build and we have finished the empennage kit, the wing kit, and we're into the fuselage kit. I try and document any shortcomings we might have along the way, as well as any helpful tips or tricks that we've picked up on and other really helpful things that we've learned from other builders out there. I also have videos about different air shows that we've been to, like Air Venture up in Oshkosh and things like general aviation camping, what you might expect and what you might want to bring. I really love sharing the excitement and the adventure of this whole build experience with everybody out there, and I'm really looking forward to hearing the questions that you have and doing my best to try to help answer them for you. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Jason Ellis, and like you, I am an aviation enthusiast that decided one day that I really wanted to fly and really wanted to own my own airplane, but didn't have the bottomless pit of wealth required to buy that high performance aircraft. So uh, I decided to go the experimental aviation route. Uh, I purchased a Vans RV-10 kit and I've been at it for five years at this point. And you know, honestly, I'm still learning new things. It's been a great journey. I've been documenting all of it on my YouTube channel. I'm trying to do so in an approachable way. I am not an expert, but rather a guy with a dream and a pile of parts and I'm always available to answer questions. And so I think this is an awesome opportunity to chat with y'all and I can't wait to see what y'all come up with. And I'm Steve from the Flight Chops channel. I've got over 200 episodes covering all sorts of different flying adventures and flight training. And recently I've started a side stream of content focusing on following the process of building a Vans aircraft RV-14 with an awesome team of guys from the Canadian Historical Aircraft Association. So I'm really looking forward to learning from the builders on this panel. It's going to be hosted by Ryan on the Super Aero channel, so look for the link on all of our various social medias. I hope you guys check it out.